Testing. All right, now we got the sound. Here we are, another Friday Night Live, uh, December 2nd, 2022. Uh, another beautiful day today. Hope everybody's doing amazing. Um, month of December, my goodness gracious. <laughs> How time just flies, the illusion of time. Just the days roll by, the weeks roll by, the months roll by. Years roll by and things start changing in our physicality, things change in our minds. It's actually the other way around, right? The emotion changes and uh, we start being exposed to different environments and we uh, start to see changes. We age. <laughs> <laughs> at different rates. So what a beautiful experience, this life. And then we leave here for a short time, not a long time, no. We come here to be exposed to different experiences and uh, uh, so we can uh, learn different things and, uh, and then we're off back into the limitless realms where we came from and off to the next project uh, throughout the universe. Universe is, you know. <laughs> From our understanding, there's multiple universes and galaxies and star systems and the unicos. And it's uh, a grand scale that we can't conceptualize with the physical, physical mind. It's just, uh, it's looking at the stars and wow. The vastness. And I know that's why we say dry fasting is as vast as the stars because we don't know any limits in these lifestyle practices. We just don't know what they are. We can assume things, we can have theories of things, but we really don't know. And, and as we um, continuously put these in practice as a lifestyle, we start seeing the amazing things that are only possible through the divine, from the divine through our souls. Everything happens in those in that sequence, in divine soul, physicality, you know, and the emotions are in intertwined in that. And in this realm of MFS, we've seen, you know, some amazing, beautiful things. And uh, for some people, it, even though we see it, it doesn't mean anything. We're looking for um, excuses of why it's not possible for me. You know, we're not looking for all the reasons to do it we're looking for the excuses of why it's not possible for me you know well it's not the same blood type it's not the same year was born not the same astrological symbol it's not the same gender not the same color hair not the same city continent side of the planet <laughs> And on and on and on and on. We look ourselves in the mirror and we lie to ourselves over and over and over, right? It's just uh, the nature of mankind. And it's been more clear in these last few years than ever before with all this crazy stuff that's been happening. Wonderful times ahead. We need to be persistent, consistent, and keep our visions clear. There's no other way. The other ways are illusions at best. 
where we pay a heavy cost for things that we want to feel at the moment, you know, stimulations in general. So, uh, anybody got any questions, suggestions, inspirations? We're all ears. How do we keep ourselves motivated? amongst the masses who are not interested in true health, not interested in simple life, not interested in living in a balanced, you know, peace, balance, and correct conduct way of life. Because if we were, we wouldn't have went through what we have gone through in the last few years, it just wouldn't have happened if we were truly connected to uh, to source. Because everything was an abomination that uh, they tried to get us to do. Marco. So it's a good time to go inwards and reflect, you know, what's true in our values? What's true in our values, you know? You know, we look at uh, what happened with this, uh, uh, what was it called? Balenciaga, yeah, you see what happened with that. Where were the children? Where were the parents of the children in those photographs? Isn't that what I, I'd be asking first thing? Where were the, the parents of those children? How can parents allow this to happen? for some dollars just to show you show us how how what's the word low mankind is gone do anything for money at all costs doesn't matter as long as I'm getting paid, I'm going to do it. Wow. Interesting times. Interesting times where if this happened, uh, you know, different times, you know, people would stand up and not allow any of this nonsense. But we're not in those times. We're in exact time in place and things that are supposed to happen happen so do people really want to heal i can say <laughs> with uh, almost certainty mass percentages of people doesn't matter what they say doesn't matter what comes out of our, our mouths. We just lie to ourselves over and over and over. So one of the reasons, I guess, would be God is not present and not a present in our lives, not a consistent part of our lives, not an important part of our lives. Then it's actually voodoo for some people to speak about our divine creator. Paula, uh, 
FB has stopped the notification from us for me and I never changed anything. Oh yeah, we know Paula, they've been censoring us for, I think it was in the first year they started censoring MFS. Yeah, it's just the where, where everything's going, right? And uh, anything to do with, you know, health and nature in general is being censored whether it's fact or not, as long as it's being, people talk about, you know, health and nature, and it's gonna be censored, you know, we've been censored right from way back. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, these are the times we're in, where censorship rules and the truth is voodoo. <laughs> The truth is voodoo. We, uh, we've we kept everything consistent so people can easily access the times and so on and so forth. I was thinking of changing it, but you know, if we make any changes, then anybody who's been in MFS for a while, they come, they're not going to find it unless, unless you go to the website, the information's there. And if we make any changes, then we'll update it there. But um, we are in interesting times and you know, let's embrace the divine, the good Lord, keep the good Lord in our hearts, and let's continue to make fasting a part of our lives, you know, because it's going to open up a lot of doors when you start fasting, and a lot of doors will be closed, and these doors, it's not that you can't open them again, it's that you shouldn't want to open them again. Because there are doors that if we open them again and go into them, into those areas, we're not going to be happy campers. Meaning, <clears throat> we, li we lead back a, a, a lifestyle and a diet that is very detrimental. And if we go back to those times, um, we're, going, we're not going to be happy because it's going to be uh, detrimental to our health in a big way. And sometimes in a, in such a big way that it'll uh, it'll uh, send us to a place we came from. You know, we'll jump the fence, leave the physical body, and uh, away we go. And you know, because of so many challenges, many people have in our lives. You know, and, you know, we all have in our lives. Um, that's maybe uh, where we are at subconsciously, meaning, you know, we're, we really want to leave, even though we're saying things in the physicality, the program running in the subconscious is we, we, we want to leave, we want to get out of here. That's why, you know, we say, you see people saying they want to heal and so on and so forth, and then they don't do anything really to make it happen, and then they're gone, right? We're, or they do things that are really detrimental, uh, you know, eating very obstructive foods after a long uh, fast and, uh, you know, knocks them out. But this is all part of the, uh, you know, this experience in this life or some. And um, well, the only thing we can do is pray for people and elevate their souls. Um, we all need a little bit of help in that. And, you know, it's all wonderful when we get prayers sent our ways and we uh, have our souls elevated and to elevate others. By elevating others, we elevate ourselves. So that's why we, we, we uh, in the Mass Fast Realm, we, we, we talked about the um, 432, the number of creation. And, um, you know, by putting your intent and emotion every day at 432 a.m. and or p.m., at your time, you know, that sets in alignment with the, uh, it's a wave carrier, 432 is also a wave carrier, sets the intent and emotion into the ether of the mass fast plasma bank, we call it, so that others may draw into that uh, wonderful, uh, beautiful, elevating energy, uh, because um, mankind needs it more now than ever, right? So we, uh, we need to up our scale on, uh, 
in, uh, in, in doing these things um, doesn't cost us anything. Nine seconds a day or nine seconds twice a day, big deal, right? Big deal. Anybody can afford nine seconds, excuse me. Anybody can afford nine seconds a day. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000. Done. So you can do that while you're driving. You have a stoplight, a stop sign. You can do that uh, anywhere, sitting down. And it doesn't matter. Eating maybe just before you eat and just before you go to sleep. Before 32 is a great time because <laughs> of the wave carrier capabilities. <laughs> but you can do it anytime. But 432 is really a wonderful, um, powerful time. You know, the experiments we did over a decade ago were amazing. Man. Just, just to be part of that experiment was uh, mind-boggling, to say the least. To see that we were able to send the odor of rose essential oil across the planet instantaneously was just amazing. Just amazing. And people say it's not possible. Okay, well, it's not possible. Then if that's what you believe. That's your reality. But we have we have done it and we experienced it. And uh, so did many others. Those were the uh, the talk shoe days. Is it talk shoe was called or something? No videos, just uh, radio transmission. Interesting times. How things have changed. Now we can use video and broadcast technology. The wonders of technology, the goodness of technology, but the intent and emotion of technology is. But is, what was the true intent and emotion? Technology has only brought man to pain, misery, and suffering and imbalance, generally for the most part. If we believe that technology has helped us, okay, well, let's see the evidence and then we'll, we can debate on, is it beneficial or not? Interesting times we are at, interesting times. Persimmons are out. I love persimmons. Just got to eat them when they're ripe. There's all the different types, but uh, the ones that, what do they call it? Set with an H, uh, I think. The big ones. If you don't eat them when they're ripe, they're very strange and you can't eat them. But when they're ripe, man, they're just amazing. They're costing like $2 each these days. I remember a few years, not long ago in Italy, I was buying a whole case for one or two euro. How times have changed. You know, one or two euro would be about three bucks now. Now we're paying, you know, two bucks for per piece. Yeah. Very difficult to find. Uh, Juices for some people in Canada. They're removing anything to do with health one by one. So eventually, if, if um, mankind continues to accept all this nonsense, we will not have anything available as far as natural herbs and so on and so forth. We'll, we'll have to do all the harvesting and picking ourselves and growing. Um, so just have that um, preparedness mentality within, you know, meanwhile, focusing on where we want to go so we don't get to that point.
We're too comfortable in life. We're too comfortable to do anything. And we're all to blame. You know, it's, uh, it is what it is. But um, we have uh, beauty all around us in every direction. All the season changes. We're coming up to winter now. And the cold man winter comes. Those beautiful, cold, crisp, sunny days are just really nice to be out in those days and just feel that energy. There's a different energy in the cold and that cold alkalinity. When we look at chemistry, it brings in the trigger of detoxification. You know, the heat you know, puts people to sleep. Extreme cold can put you to sleep and freeze you to death. <laughs> Yeah. Interesting times, folks. Interesting times. No better time than now to make fasting a lifestyle. Start you know, start at whatever pace you have you can, level one, level two, and then you know, eventually moving to level three, four, and you know, taking dabs in level six, seven. Five, six, seven, moving up and down, not too many levels. Uh, that would be uh, ideal. And maintaining that with clean, minimal eating, mainly fruits. If you want to eat flesh, God help us. There's <laughs> nothing wrong if you have it very, very occasionally. You know, once every month, every few months would be even better. Not at all. Um, so these things are uh, just not sustainable for every human on the planet and all the animals that eat it. It's just not sustainable. And it's uh, karmic energy that goes along with it. It's uh, very brute and aggressive. No matter how much we bless something before we kill it. And plants have a different uh, consciousness and uh, they're much more highly elevated than we are. Uh, and the studies have been done. If you pray to the plant and you know, thank it, um, there's uh, they don't measure high stress levels as if you just grab it and eat it. So that's because they're very much higher evolved than us and and they understand that you know we're here we we need to eat them <laughs> to sustain ourselves so because of their high high, high elevation of consciousness um, they accept that and allow it and um and you know just we have to be thankful thankful for everything um Interesting times. The master fast system has, you know, smashed a lot of belief systems out there. And opened up a lot of doors for people as far as allowing them to take charge of their health. Any questions or uh, maybe we can do a little meditation. <laughs> we uh, can always use more meditation and prayer, that's for sure. You know, talk about our lives become too busy to give thanks to our creator. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do a small meditation. Close our eyes, you know, sit down or lie down and be comfortable. Palms your hands on your legs, just be relaxed with your spine erect, straight. And just, you know, focus on the breathing. We like to focus on nasal breathing. 
in through the nose, out through the nose, very minimal breathing. We don't need to take in any large breaths. We take in the breath as the energy goes down the spine, coming up through the crotch, taking in the energy, going up as we inhale. Just do a few of those. Feel ourselves relaxing with each breath. We give thanks to our Creator. For all the beautiful, wonderful experiences in this life. And for all the other learning experiences. And we take our focus of our breath into the lower belly. And just breathe into that area. And some of you might want to focus on a mini tornado, a mini vortex just spinning counterclockwise in that area below the lower belly or the tips in the area where you're focusing your breath. You just see it spinning in your mind and brings balance back to that area of the breath and the mini vortex tornado. In through the nose, out through the nose and Giving thanks always as we move our attention down to the genitals. Our procreation organs. So much creative energy is in, in a massive force in that area all controlled by our emotions. Many tornadoes are spinning faster and faster. If you have that vision. And we move our focus down to between the genitals, the anus, the perineum. Very powerful energy generating area. As we keep our focus there, we see in our mind. Many more texts is just spinning faster and faster, bring a balance to that area. And we move our focus to the tailbone. Vortex is touching the tailbone and spinning faster and faster, bringing balance to the area. This is our root, the root chakras. And we need to do lots of work in these areas. And doing work in these areas, the other chakras will benefit. Just feel a soothing, wonderful feeling as the vortex neutralizes all negative energy fields. 
and we move the focus to lower back and between the kidneys. Lots of energy is focused on the kidneys. That's why we have so many challenges as a mankind in the kidney areas. And most people are not filtering properly because of an obstructive lifestyle. So let's keep that tornado spinning faster and faster and bringing everything back to balance. And we move our focus up the back to the middle of the back between the shoulders. Feel that mini vortex spinning faster and faster. And we bring our focus up to cerebellum. Behind the neck, just below the skull, cerebellum. And feel that mini vortex spinning faster and faster, bring a balance to that area. You feel all that negative negative energy does just dissipate. Goes back to where it came from. Bringing balance. And we move our energy up to top of the skull, right in the center point, thousand point junction. Feel that vortex spinning faster and faster, bring a balance to that area. It soothes everything. How oh, wonderful. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose, spinning faster and faster. And we come down to the third eye, front of the forehead, center of the forehead. And we move down to the throat area, thyroid, voice box. Vortex spinning faster and faster, bringing balance to that area. Just feel it soothing. 
as you breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. Very little tiny breaths. And we move down the focus to the heart chakra. See that any vortex going faster and faster and opening up bigger and bigger. It neutralizes all the negative energy around it. Sending out laugh to everybody on the planet, all the animals. Plant kingdom, all the life in the sea, insects, microorganisms, Mother Earth. Just keep sending plaf, plasma love always flowing. It's the divine love, the divine creative love that flows in every single life form and non life form on the planet. Everything was created through this love. Nothing can exist without that love. And we are all loved by this wonderful, beautiful energy source. And we move our attention down to the solar plexus. Feel that vortex spinning faster and faster, bringing balance to that powerful nerve junction area. And when you're ready, just uh, open your eyes and hallelujah, we're back. <laughs> Beautiful little journey, my goodness, what the fun time just flies, that was a quick one. Uh, this is beautiful, you know.
meditative state is just a wonderful place to be. Well, nobody's got any questions. We will uh, call it a night. And hopefully everybody has a wonderful evening, morning, or afternoon, wherever you are. Keep the plasma love always flowing. Thank you, Paula. Nice to see you as always. So uh, ciao for now. See you back on the page. See you back on Wednesday, Facebook Live. Ciao.